Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix SSL pending error on Shopify store. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So there's actually multiple things that you should be checking here and fixing for you to probably fix this issue for your SSL pending status. So one of those things is you have to ensure that your domain is actually properly set up. So first thing is you need to go to your admin page for Shopify and log into your account and access your store. And once in here, you need to go to your settings at the bottom left. And from here, you need to go ahead and open up the domain section here. So go ahead and click on domains at the left panel here. And from here, you want to make sure that the domain that you actually set up, especially if you have a, uh, a domain or a customized domain for your store. Now, once you've uh, checked your domain here, you need to click on it and make sure that it's actually properly set up. Now, if the settings here are not enough, what you, you can need to do here is you need to visit the actual website where you got your domain. So once in there, what you need to do is we need to uh, disable a few things here. Because sometimes if you, especially if you actually add a URL DRX or actually added a uh, uh, port uh, forwarding from for your domain then you might have this issue here so for example you want to disable URL redirects for your uh, hosting or your domain through GoDaddy so you've got your domain from GoDaddy what you need to do here is you just need to type in the following which is disable URL redirect in GoDaddy and Google now from here it's going to give you some steps on what you need to do here to disable or remove domain forwarding now, the steps that you need to follow here depends where you got your domain. Like for example, this is the steps for GoDaddy. So in this case, you just need to follow the steps for you to remove the URL or the uh, domain forwarding option here. Now, in this case, once you've done that, that would actually probably fix your issue because most of the problem that you, you'll receive for pending SSL is actually from this uh, type of configuration. Now, another thing that you might need to check here or need to uh, basically wait for is to basically just wait a few hours. Usually, uh, if your domain is actually pretty new, uh, sometimes the changes itself might take around 48 hours before your SSL is actually given to you or verify that you actually own that specific domain itself. Now, in this case, usually just wait for 48 hours and it will actually resolve itself. Now, in this case, uh, you should be actually good. So those are the things that you can do here. First is you need to disable URL for wording. And second is you just basically wait for 48 hours for you to actually uh, have it fixed because there's going to be a whole process for it like verification, certificate insur insurance, uh, the installation itself. So they need to first verify and install and make sure that you actually own that specific domain. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.